Hello everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to feed your sourdough starter. First off, you'll want to put your bowl on the scale and make sure your scale is set to grams. Then you're going to take your sourdough starter and pour it into that bowl to measure how much starter you have. And so here we have 25 grams of sourdough starter. Now I'm going to tear that scale and we're going to start off by adding 25 grams of water. We're feeding our sourdough starter with a 1-1-1 ratio today. After pouring in your 25 grams of water, you're going to go ahead and stir together that starter and water. And you'll know you have a healthy starter when there's bubbles forming on the top. And for our final ingredient, we're going to be using flour. You're welcome to use whatever flour you'd like. We're using a nice all-purpose flour today. We're going to be pouring in 25 grams of that. And now that we have our 25 grams of flour, we're going to go ahead and incorporate all of those ingredients together to have a nice healthy starter. Now there are two methods to how often you can feed your sourdough starter. Option one is to let it live on the counter and to feed it once a day, while your second option is to let your sourdough starter live in the fridge and feed it once a week. This is all based on how often you want to use that starter as it triples in size every time we feed. And now that all of our ingredients are incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and take our starter and pour it into a clean jar. Now, in between feedings, you wanna know how much your starter has grown. So when you're pouring this starter into the jar, we're gonna try and not touch the sides. After pouring our sourdough starter in the jar, we're gonna loosely put the lid on top. And then for our final step, we are going to mark where our sourdough starter is. You notice it's at a pretty low level, and then by the next morning, we're gonna have a nice full sourdough starter. Thank you so much for watching.